Good evening and welcome to the Frenzy here on WJCL 22 News. Alongside Preston Harvey, I'm Amy Zimmer. Our Dave Williams and Rick Snow will join us in just a few minutes. Week 11 of the high school football yeah. season. Area teams making the final push for region titles and playoff positioning. That's right. While there's one week left of the regular season for most teams in the Peach State, tonight marked the final Friday night of the regular season for South Carolina squads. Kicking off in the Palmetto State, the Buford Eagles with a chance to clinch a region title on their home field taking on the Hanahan Hawks in SCHSL Region 8 AAA action. To the Nets we go. Eagles soaring into their regular season finale on a seven game winning streak. Determined to make it eight. First quarter, Buford in scoring position quick. Casey Fields takes the handoff, makes it look easy. Seven nothing Eagles. Buford strikes right back. Quarterback Samari Bonds rolls right, connects with Jack Troutman, tiptoes the sideline. That's good for a first down. A few plays later, Bonds calls his own number. Check it out. Up the gut and into the end zone. Grabs a 14-0 lead for Buford. Eagles loving it and not letting up on the gas. How about this? Buford's Colton Ferris says, see ya. Dips and dodges his way. Oh, no, he cannot be stopped. He's going to take it all the way to the house. Huge touchdown run makes it 21-0 home team. Buford goes on to win big, 49-14 the final. In Skiza AAA, the Hilton Head Christian Academy Eagles wrap it up the regular season against rival Hilton Head Pratt. However, the Dolphins still searching for the first one of the season. First drive of the game now, quarterback Wyatt Harmer looking for his receiver. Passes picked off by Tucker Tevenpah, coming up just one yard short of the goal line. Starting the game off with some defense. Next play for the Eagles, though, quarterback Dylan Clark hands off to Gavin Thompson to punch in the first score of the game. Field goal good, 7-0 Hilton Head Christian. Next drive for Hilton Head Prep, Harmer hands off to Will Alford, able to pick up a couple yards on the play before being tackled. Eagles drive now, Clark takes a snap, has time, launches a deep ball to receiver well sharp, and Sharp does the rest, taking it into the end zone. Extra point no good, 13 to nothing Eagles. Hilton Head Christian goes on to win the rivalry game the final, 27 to nothing. Hilton Head Christian having an impressive season. Back in Savannah, the Bethesda Academy Blazers colliding with the Buford Academy Eagles in an important Skies of Region 1 AA matchup. That's right, two evenly matched teams creating a showdown at Daffin Park. And our Dave Williams was there and has the highlights. Well, Preston and Amy here at Floyd Morris Field in Daffin Park. There's plenty at stake as Buford Academy and Bethesda wrap up their regular season. A win by the Eagles would give them the outright region championship, while a victory by the Blazers, well, that could create a three-way tie and give them an opportunity at the region crown. But regardless of the outcome, both teams had already secured playoff spots. And it's Buford Academy starting out strong, already up 14 to eight. Quarter back Braden Deneen rolls out and finds Zeke Gonzalez who takes it into the payoff pasture and after the two-point conversion the Eagles led 22 to 8. Bethesda though was trying to answer right back and we're driving down the field but they fumble and Buford Academy recovers and they would take advantage of it as they drove downfield and Braden Deneen would hit Trip Gregory in the end zone for the touchdown and it's 29 to 8 Buford Academy. Bethesda, though, does try to keep it close on their opening possession of the second half. Noah Jenkins would cap it off with a short touchdown run and just demolishes the defender in the process. The two-pointer made it 29-16, but the comeback falls short as Buford Academy hangs on for the 35-30 win. In Savannah, Dave Williams, WJCL 22 News. On Wilmington Island, St. Andrews and Bullock Academy colliding. Both teams still in the hunt for their first region win in GIAA AAA District 2. First quarter, Gators were feeding this man, senior Bryson Scott. Lions Justin Kreider catching on gets the big stop. Very next Bullock Academy play, don't blink, it's Kreider landing on top of the ball for the turnover. However, St. Andrews not able to turn into a score. Bullock Academy back to work. Quarterback Ben Aaron to Scott pushes his way through traffic. Talking six foot one, 225 pounds. Big first down. Gators finish the drive with Reed Clifton taking the handoff. Breaks left. How about this? The big stretch. 
for the touchdown. 7 nothing Gators. Liars res Lions respond with under a minute left in the first quarterback, Zayden Edwards, to his brother, Zaire Edwards. Look at the speed taken down inside the red zone. Sets up this touchdown to start the second quarter. It's the Edwards duo again with the finishing touches as Zaire steps into the end zone, knocks the game up at 7. This one, a close one. St. Andrews finishes on top. 30 to 26, the final. Over to Garden City Stadium for a tilted Region 3 AAA matchup. 1 and 7 Groves hosting 7 and 1 Savannah Christian. And the Raiders waste no time in getting their offense going. Zoe Smalls takes the handoff, picking up big yardage inside the Groves 25. That would eventually lead to a touchdown. Then the Raiders defense gets going to work. They get big pressure on the quarterback and he throws it up and Jaden Heister intercepts for Savannah Christian. And they will finish that off with Zoe Smalls. A touchdown run right up the middle. Extra point no good. 13 to nothing Savannah Christian. And they will go on to cruise to a 48 to eight win. Region 3 AAA, the Long County Blue Tide visiting Calvary Day Cavaliers, looking to put a bow on a perfect season. Calvary leading 28-0 in the third quarter, and the defense continues to dominate. Camry and Langan knocks down the pass. And on the next play, Jordan Davis does the same thing just as the ball leaves quarterback Zion Irvin's hand to force Long County to punt. Then Jake Corklinger goes to work. The quarterback finding Caden Arnold open over the middle. 15 yards for a first down for the Cavaliers. Then Merklinger looks to the end zone. Look who he finds. Tight end. Michael Smith makes the leaping catch over the defender. Touchdown. Makes it 35-0 Calvary. They remain undefeated with a 48-0 shutout to clinch the regular season championship in Region 3 AAA. All right, coming up, we are taking you to the Carolina Clash Game of the Week. And still a handful of big matchups to get to across Southeast Georgia. All that and more still to come here on The Frenzy. We'll be right back.